Hi everyone, happy Thursday. My name is Gabby and I am a master NLP practitioner, an EFT coach and a love assumption coach here at Create Your Future. And I am also your guide every week as we dive deep into the law of assumption and learn how to become reality generators together. <laughs> if you are currently looking for some individualized support, you can go ahead and book a coaching session with me. That is in the description box below. The other things that I do have available, I have a course, how to get rid of the third party. That's part of my um, manifest reality generator series. That is also in the description box below. You can locate that there. Um, if you are going to purchase, up until the 28th, there is a $25 off coupon if you use the code no 3 p for me I also offer a um, meditation as well. It's a Limitless Love SP meditation that you can utilize to bring yourself to the alpha state, open up your subconscious mind, and really saturate yourself with the desired story. I have had a lot of clients that have had a ton of success with that as well. Those are in the description box below. We're also still giving away a free course on how to identify and remove your blocks. You can also find that in the description box below. Okay, so this week's video, I have had so many clients and so many comments from subscribers around circumstances that I really wanted to address that. I know you guys have also been asking for some success stories about my own personal life. Um, those are coming, so I will be using those as well um, this week in some upcoming videos. But I really wanted to address circumstances and actually came prepared. I have quite a hefty set of notes here. <laughs> um, so I want to start off with really addressing, first of all, what I've, what I've talked about in many of my videos, which is this duality that we live in. So on one hand, we are the infinite source, the reality generator, the creator, the manifester, the I am, okay? That's who we are on one hand. On the other hand, we are a human living a human experience. We are separate in that sense. So when we move into our human self, we become separate. We separate ourselves from our from our creator, okay? Which is who we are when we are in source form, when we are in reality generator form, okay? Um, that's our smaller version of ourselves. It's our ego. It's where our fear lies. It's where our wanting to control everything lies. That lies within our human element. And that is a decision that we made when we decided we were going to come play this game of life. <laughs> so really understanding first and foremost that this duality exists and in the existence of this duality of our reality generator, source, I am, ultimate creator, manifester, being, our infinite all-knowing being that we are, we also have the human experience that we are, okay? And both of these dualities, we need to be aware of. We need to be aware of them because it allows us to critically think through the um, reality generation process, the manifestation process, the selecting of our experiences process, okay? So that is the very first thing that we need to understand. So as we move through understanding that and knowing that when you imagine yourself as the reality generator, the I am, the ultimate being, source creation, etc., you are doing that away from your human element, but also with your human element integrated into you. I know that sounds crazy. <laughs> so the best way I can put it is that, have you ever made a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? <laughs> So a peanut butter and jelly sandwich would not be a PB&J without the bread, the peanut butter, and the jelly, right? All three of those components together make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. But you can have just peanut butter, you can have just jelly, and you can have just bread. That doesn't make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. It's not until we put it all together that we make it a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. That's the same thing when it comes to being source or I am. When we recognize that our human self is part of that, then we understand, okay, now we know what we're cooking with, right? Now we know, okay? You cannot be source or I am or reality generator or a manifesting creator 
without also recognizing that you are currently in a human element, living a human experience, and you are a human. Okay. This is super important. Okay. So just want to leave this very clear idea out here as we start to talk about circumstances. Okay. So, um, and I'm looking down at my notes because I've got, like I said, a ton of notes on this. <laughs> um, so let's talk about circumstances. What are circumstances or conditions? So circumstances or conditions are basically us feeling lack or feeling loss. We have labeled circumstances or conditions as being good or bad. We've judged them. That is our human element, not our source, not our I am, not our reality generator. Our human element has decided that circumstance is bad, that circumstance is good. Okay. Now, when we step back into our creator, our source, our I amness, when we step back into that, we no longer judge conditions or circumstances. We actually take away the good or the bad, the judgment, the label, and we identify them as neutral, almost as if they are data points for feedback. Now, this is super important because when you move into this perspective, when you start looking at circumstances and conditions outside of you in the 3D reality, from a neutral standpoint, from a standpoint of, thank you for that feedback, that's a data point, now I know where I need to tweak my thoughts, okay? When you start looking at it from that perspective, you then release the human emotions attached to the label or judgment that we have given the circumstance. Okay, so let me give an example, all right? Because I know that's it's a little metaphysical out there. Okay, so let's let's get an example. Let's do some um, some concreteness here. Okay, so if I decide that I want a new car, I've decided I want a new car. Okay, that's that's what's happening. I'm getting a new car. Period. End of story. And I walk out to my driveway, and I see that someone has hit my car. Okay. I can either immediately become upset and frustrated and angry and start thinking, oh my God, this is the worst thing ever. Somebody hit my car. Now I have to go and deal with the insurance company and I've got to do all of this and blah, blah, blah. I can do that. Or I can step into my source, my I amness, and I can say, huh, well, it's all going to work out for me. It doesn't matter. I'm getting a new car either way. Okay. When you do that, do you see how like it goes from like having a a heated, connected, strong story or like emotional connection versus a neutral, nonchalant reaction? That neutral, nonchalant reaction actually keeps you in a fantastic place for you to start really selecting your experiences. Because I will tell you that this happens all the time. <laughs> As a matter of fact, my um, best friend, somebody hit her car and she got really, really upset about it. She came to me and she was really upset. And I was like, hey, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. You wanted that new Tesla. That's what you wanted. You wanted the new Tesla. Use this as an opportunity to allow that experience to come to you. And she was like, okay, okay. So she thought about it and she's like, you know what? I'm not going to get upset. I'm just going to call the insurance company, talk to the insurance company. She did. The insurance company totaled out her car. Now, mind you, it was still drivable. <laughs> they totaled it out and she was able to use the money that they paid her for her car as a down payment on her new Tesla. So she created that experience for herself. Okay. Now, if she would have gotten upset, and would have fed into the 3D human element and reactions of what was happening to her circumstances and her conditions, she would have probably more than likely delayed her manifestation, if at least not have that manifestation come through. What would have come through instead would have been the story that was more dominant for her, which was that this is a fiasco, this would be horrible, it's the worst experience, et cetera. And so she would have manifested and selected more experiences that aligned with that to maintain that momentum. Okay. So very important for why we need to stay neutral. Okay. Um, another example, and this is something that was a subscriber comment. 
a subscriber mentioned that they have an exam coming up and they're on a time crunch. I believe they said something of like a month or less. And they want to know if they can pass the exam within that time frame, even though they haven't been so strong in their current coursework. Yes, of course. Okay. It's just a matter of recognizing there is a timeline that you've placed on this manifestation. There is some uneasiness that your human self is experiencing with this particular 3D condition, right? So it's recognizing, okay, I need to go neutral. I need to take away any labels, any judgment, any consideration of this is bad, this is good. I need to take that away. And instead, I need to step into my source, my I amness, my reality generator self and say, it doesn't matter. It's unfolding exactly the way I need it to. I am manifesting, passing this class with flying colors. I am manifesting, not having to lift a finger to pass this course. It is totally doable. It is totally doable. What you need to remember is the conditions themselves, the circumstances themselves that are showing up in your 3D. Your human self is the one that is assigning meaning to them. It is assigning meaning as this is good, this is bad, this means my manifestation isn't coming, etc. When you stop assigning meaning and you go neutral, you actually slide out of your human experience and back into your I amness, to your source, to your reality generator. Okay. All right. So that's one concrete example. <laughs> the other thing that I want to talk about is when conditions pop up. So I've had numerous clients that ask me all the time, Gabby, what do I do between coaching sessions when I'm faced with a 3D? What do I do? What do I do when something happens and I don't like it? How do I handle that? Do I just persist through my story, but then I have a really hard time because I start to get anxious, et cetera? Well, you need to stop and ask yourself, who is bothered by the 3D conditions that are showing up right now? Who is bothered? Is it your source, I am this reality generator manifesting self? Or is it your human self? It's your human self. So if it's your human self, then you can actually pause and say, whoa, whoa, whoa. My human self is seeing these 3D, 3D conditions as being separate from me. It's seeing these 3D conditions as being bad or good. It's assigning a label. It's judging these conditions, which is, that's what's happening, right? We're giving it a label. So we're judging. Our human self is judging. It's seeing conditions as separate. But here's the thing. Your I amness, your source, your reality generator self is infinite. It's all encompassing. It is everything and it is nothing. So nothing is separate from your source self. Nothing is separate from you as a generator, as a manifester, as an I amness, nothing. So if nothing is separate from you, then there is no reason to see these 3D conditions that are playing out as real. They're not real. They're an illusion. And that's part of the game. Part of the game of life is that we as source creatures, as I am this, as reality generators, as magnificent manifestors made of stardust, we have decided that by playing this game of life, we are going to embody the human element. We are going to live the human experience. With that comes the feelings, that comes the frustration, the sadness, the anger, the happiness, the overjoyment, right? With that comes the tears. With that comes the physical pain of stubbing your toe. With that comes this notion that you are separate from your source self, but you are not. You are not separate, not in any way, shape, or form. And because you are not separate and because your source self, your I amness, your reality generator is really who creates reality, reality moves through you as your source self, then the 3D in and of itself is an illusion. It's not real. You are. Reality is not real. Guys, it's not. It's not real. It's an illusion. Okay. And because it's an illusion, it's like the best way to put it is 
reality is like a multiversal vending machine. Okay. You get to pick row C number 12. And that is the experience of having a brand new Tesla. C12, you press the button, boom, it drops out of the vending machine. And guess what you get to experience? Having a new Tesla. That is exactly what being a reality generator, your source self is because there is no outside of you. There's no outside of you. Reality moves through you, meaning it's here and then it moves through you out here. You create it first here. And it's really like we've talked about on this channel. It's not you creating, it's you selecting because creation is finished. Creation is absolutely finished, which is kind of great because I don't know about you. I really would be exhausted if I had to sit there and create every little thing. And also maybe we need to have a conversation with who decided to name some animals, just saying. <laughs> but let's really, let's really be clear about this. Reality moves through you. You decide here, you select your experiences here, you create it here, you individualize it, you customize it here, okay? You customize it here and then it moves through you and pushes out into the 3D, okay? Therefore, the 3D is an illusion, it's not real. This is real. What's going on inside of your mind is real. Everything else is an illusion. This is why circumstances don't matter. The other thing that I have told my clients, um, which has been super helpful for them, is if this is too kind of like out there metaphysically for you, um, is to think about circumstances and 3D conditions as shadows, okay? You were thinking something pretty dominantly for a while and it pushed out into your 3D and then you decided, okay, that is not what I want. I'm going to switch my preference. I'm choosing something else. You've created a new story. Now you consistently return to that new story. When you look out into the 3D and you see, oh, that's my old story. That is not what I want anymore. I am choosing this. Just remind yourself, it's a shadow. It's kind of like, um, hmm, this is really going to tell you guys how old I am. When you used to take a photo with an old film camera, and you got a double exposure. So you took two photos, but maybe the film didn't advance quick enough. And so you got two, two photos on one film frame, right? So it's a double exposure. And that's really what 3D is. 3D is a double exposure. You're seeing kind of like the double piece of your old story. You're seeing your old story continue to play out only because it has to finish playing out and for the new story to play forward. That's all. So when you see your old story, you just need to remind yourself that is the shadow. It's a shadow. It's old. It's fake news. It's old. What's new, what's actually happening, what's coming out of me and coming down the pipeline is my new story. And I know that all I have to do is stick to that new story and it will show up because that's what's real for me. That's what's true for me. That's what I'm assuming for myself to be real and true, right? And we all know what we assume to be true. What we believe to be true is what manifests, right? Belief, assumption, interchangeable in this sense. That's what ends up being true, okay? So I just really want to hit on that. I was just looking to see if there was anything else on my notes. Um, just want to remind you guys, um, just when you are looking at conditions in the midst of your manifestation journey, no matter what it is that you are selecting, no matter which experience you want to, um, have for yourself and you want to engage with and select and, and experience for just the beauty of experiencing it. Just remember that the 3D conditions that pop up, they can only be good or bad or make mean you're not getting your manifestation or you are getting your manifestation. They can only be that way if you decide that. And I will tell you in my own manifestation journey, it was very difficult for me when I first started applying the law of assumption to my life and really seeing myself 
for who I am as a reality generator, it was really difficult for me to grasp the concept that I decide the meaning of those conditions, right? Like I decide, yes, that is good. That is bad. I decide that. And I will tell you, once I started saying they have no meaning, 3D conditions stopped bothering me. I stopped seeing them as impossibilities. I stopped seeing them as roadblocks or obstacles to getting my desire. I stopped viewing them as meaning I wasn't getting what I was manifesting. And when that happens, when you get to that point, that is when it floods in because there's no longer a resistance there. There's no longer that story of, I can't have this. So whether it's you're seeing 3D circumstances or conditions as being a third party, whether it's you're seeing 3D circumstances or conditions as you have no money in your checking account and you've got bills coming in in your mailbox, right? Whether you're seeing 3D circumstances or conditions as um, you have a really low credit score and you're trying to buy a house, okay? Whatever you're seeing it as, don't make it mean it's bad. Don't make it mean you're not getting what you want. Instead, just note, notice it, observe it and say, oh, that's feedback. That's feedback. That's feedback that, oh, huh, that's what I used to think. I'm not thinking that anymore. Or that's what I used to choose and believe for myself, but I'm not choosing and believing that for myself anymore. And I'll just wrap this video up with just one um, example from my own personal life, my own manifestation journey. So um, this time last year, um, I had lost my job. Um, it was actually my career. I had been in a career prior to coming to uh, Create Your Future. And I only had enough in my savings for about three months of um, income after unemployment ran out, right? And so I was coming up upon that time frame and I was really stressing. I was really trying to figure out how am I going to pay my rent, my car payment, my insurance? How am I going to do any of that? And I really had to recognize, had to stop and say, whoa, 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 Gabby, you're coming from your human self. You know how to do this. So I took a deep breath and I started telling myself, you know what? Everything's working out. Everything is working out. Everything is working out. Everything is working out. Everything's working out. I'm going to do this. I don't know how. I don't know where. Money's always coming to me. Money supports me. I'm the love of money's life. It's always there for me. I don't have to worry about this. And I stopped looking at the bills. I stopped looking at the credit card calls. I stopped looking at the debt collector calls that were coming in. I stopped looking at all of that as this is my circumstance and this is where I'm at right now. And instead I started looking at that as, oh, you know what? That was just a reminder of where I used to be. And that's not who I am anymore and that's okay. And I kid you not, in the process of doing that, I manifested this amazing grant out of nowhere to support new women starting businesses. And that's exactly what I was doing. I was starting a business. I was starting a, being a coach, right? And mindset coaching. And I was starting doing some consulting work for graphic design and social media account stuff. So I started doing that and I manifested this grant and a bunch of money flew in and I didn't have to worry about it. I didn't have to worry about where the next check was going to come from. And that is what I'm telling you guys. Guys, when you stop focusing on this is bad, this means that I'm not going to be with my person. This means that my specific person doesn't love me because now there's a third party. Or this means that my specific person is choosing someone else and they've abandoned me or rejected me. Or I haven't heard from my specific person in a week or a month or a year. That means that I can't have that person. Or I have a negative bank balance and I've got credit card companies calling me. That means that I'm never going to get out of this situation or I'm never going to be a millionaire. All of those things. I mean, and those are just the extreme examples, but when you start assigning those meanings, then you're just going to create momentum and you're just seeing circumstances and the 3D is separate from you. But you step back and you recognize you don't need to assign a meaning to those. You don't need to label those. You don't need to see 3D circumstances and conditions as good or bad or meaning you're not going to get what you want or meaning you are going to get what you want. You can just basically say it's neutral. It doesn't matter. 
It doesn't matter. What matters is here. You are the power. You are the reality generator. You create reality here and it moves through you out into your 3D. So that is why circumstances and 3D conditions don't matter. Okay. All right. I hope you enjoyed this video. I look forward to talking with you next week. And again, if you're looking for some individualized support and help, go ahead and book a coaching session with me. I definitely want to help you apply the law of assumption so you can start generating your own reality. All right. Bye, everyone.